A portion of this video is sponsored by EOS. Is this how people do aesthetic openings? Good morning! Hellos from the new apartment. Today will be me just basically getting my life together a bit. I've been kind of neglecting myself a bit. So today is going to be a day where I take the time to reconnect with myself, to do some self-care, to moisturize. I am perpetually ashy, but I cannot be that in the winter because it causes physical pain. My lips, they will blister, they will burn, and it's a horrible time, which kind of leads to today's sponsor, which is perfect timing, really, because I am dry. This portion of the video is sponsored by EOS. Wild, because I grew up on their products and it's super, Full circle moment, it's really great. They actually came out with two new lip treatments and I've been really excited to get my hands on both of them because again, Michigan winters don't play. It gets so cold here that it will literally burn your face. The amount of times I've had like black scab burns around my mouth because it is so cold. It's so cold that it's hot. There's the fixer, which is the medicated, and then there's the hero, the extra dry lip treatment. Personally, I'm more of the, I'm more of the medicated. It's just great for any dry, cracked, blistered skin around the mouth. So if you have cold sores or fever blisters, again, if it's so cold outside that it burns you. It heals and repairs dry lips. There's also this like really soothing kind of medicated vanilla scent and taste that kind of soothes everything in that area without, because some medicated lip balms are like very, very, very aggressive. And I'm like, I'm, I was already in pain. I don't need another one. But it provides a nice cooling effect for like red, hot, irritated skin around the lip. And it's dermatologist tested hyperallergenic, paraben and phthalate free, and not tested on animals. Both of them are now available at Walmart, so if you wanna check them out, feel free to do so. Big thanks again to EOS for sponsoring this portion of the video. And let's get on to the, to the pampering, cause that's what I really wanna do. And the first thing I need to pamper myself is a delicious breakfast. I haven't had breakfast yet, so we're gonna do that. I'm thinking today is gonna to be definitely a day full of leftovers, cause to me, food the next day tastes better, and also you don't have to cook. I had a potato corn chowder that um, was incredible. Chowder doesn't look good. I don't know why I'm trying to <laughs> And I want to dish up some of that, maybe warm up some chicken sausage, pepper and onion sausage. Sounds delicious. I think that's what, I think that's what breakfast is gonna be. Look at it. Look at it, it kind of look like a new with them talking about. Oh my god, I just drooled. <laughs> Whenever something says that green onion can be used as a garnish, I just assume that I'm supposed to use it as like half of the weight of it. There we go. Air fried toast. Mmm. So what is the plan for today? I'm gonna go pick up some stuff from Target. I'm gonna get my armpits waxed. Want to, to have like a, a specific session where I decompress and separate from work because I do have a little bit of work that I gotta do today. Face mask. Maybe get in a bubble bath. Do my nails because they're just perpetually ugly. By the way, on the topic of getting my underarms waxed, I love my wax girl, she's so funny. So every time I go in there, it's just a fun time. Um, I low-key want to shoot my shot to be like actual friends. I know she vaguely knows of my channel, so like, hi! So it's always a joy, <laughs> despite the uncomfortable position you can be in if you're going to get waxed anywhere. I've just been over here. I have my nails on now. My neighbor's walking their dog and it's so cute. Oh, I want a dog, but I'm scared to be like a dog mom. I, I want to be a good dog mom. And I'm scared I'm not going to be a good mom. I very recently got HBO Max um, and so I've been watching Insecure and um, just catching up on it. I'm very late, obviously. They're about to stop the show. We're back this time. We're wearing sweatpants. It's a men's brand that's made specifically for tall men. Gender is but a performance anyway, and just a way that we 
uh, conform to capitalism. And I don't want to be in anything but them because they're so comfy and they reach my ankles. I love being tall. <laughs> Guess while I'm over at Target, I could do the self-care thing, which is to buy the dark chocolate Reese's. I prefer dark chocolate in every situation. If, if dark chocolate is an option, that's the one I want. Yeah, too sweet. Oh, my order's ready. Okay, let's go to Target. I needed command hooks because I'm gonna put some photos up today, hopefully. I needed sour cream because today I'm making like a home style dinner. I have a rotisserie chicken in there. I made broth out of the carcass of, carcass, that's very appetizing. I made broth out of the carcass yesterday. So I'm gonna make gravy with that. I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes. I'm gonna make stuffing. I'm gonna make green beans. Like I wanna, I wanna have like a homey meal. I'm really excited about that. So I know what you're thinking. <clears throat> Kendall, we're not really seeing a whole lot of the apartment. Yes. <laughs> I don't know to what extent I want to do a whole lot of showing my apartment on purpose, if that makes sense. Like, I have no plans on doing, say, an apartment tour. <laughs> and that comes literally from my first view of Don't F With Cats. Watching that was enough for me to never share on purpose, again, a lot of information about my apartment. <laughs> That scared the crap out of me. Like people are weird regardless, but I don't want to go out of my way to make it easy for people. You know what I mean? So this is the fit. Sweatshirt is from YesStyle. Coat is from YesStyle. Sweatpants are from, um, not that you care. This is the fit. As you start taking something out of a space that people can access if they want to find ways to do it. Millions of viewers around the country tuned in to watch. I didn't really get anything interesting. So nothing cool enough to do like a grocery haul. Cause one, there's no groceries. It's just things that I kind of ran out of. Hydrogen peroxide, um, band-aids, sour cream. I did get one thing that was super interesting to me. And that is this. It is a card game called Exploding Kittens. A card game for people who are into kittens and explosions and laser beams and sometimes goats. It just sounds so chaotic and confusing that I needed to purchase this. So next time I have company, this is gonna be, this is gonna be at the forefront. I'm gonna send a picture of this to the group chat because I must, I must play this with the squad. This will be so fun. In the deck of cards are some exploding kittens. You play the game by putting the deck face down and taking turns drawing cards until someone draws an exploding kitten. When that happens, that person explodes and they are out of the game. All of the other cards will give you powerful tools to help you avoid exploding. Continues until there's only one player left who wins the game. But basically, if you explode, you lose and you are full of incendiary loser sad sauce. <laughs> if you don't explode, you win and you are full of greatness. Good job, buddy. Uh, and all of the other cards will lessen your chances of getting exploded by exploding kittens. Chaos. What can make me feel this way, my kid? Okay, so I'm gonna get going. Uh, I'm not gonna take you to the waxing place. It's just, I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> I also don't wanna put like a camera in their face. See you when I have hairless armpits and I'm ready to put a face mask on and get some work done. Hello, hi. I am before you. I have clean underarms now. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. I am eating some fruit because help. I'm going to finish up some editing while also watching some Fundy Fridays. The newest episode is on VeggieTales, so I'm curious to see what will be said, what is there to say. This week's Fat Moves in a Beat, this week is gonna be on Dear Evan Hansen, oh my God. Hello, a lot of hours have passed, a lot of things have happened, but not much at all. I finished, or I'm finishing up editing right now. Wow, I <laughs> hate being tall sometimes. My dad came over um, unexpectedly, so that was nice to see him as well. I'm listening to my own video as I'm getting it ready to uh, put out today, and I'm making Dinner. After I'm done, I'm gonna put a face mask on, get in a bubble bath with some salt. I do for my bath. Like, that's really peak living, I think. Bring to a boil. Tartar! It looks like a TV dinner. And I had enough. Do meal prep with it as well. AKA 
leftovers. I'm gonna put two in the freezer, one in the refrigerator. And then you gotta put some tomatoes on the side. That's what my mom used to do. When I was growing up, that's what we did. We used to do like a whole like big steak tomatoes, but I don't tend to buy them much. Use your key. Today has been all carbs and I am not mad at that. Again, this is a comforting day. This is stick to your ribs. This is we need to stay warm through winter food. I'm not gonna clean the dishes tonight because that doesn't sound like self-care to me. Cooking and then cleaning too? Absolutely not. Okay, so voiceover Kenny coming in to save the day for this ending part because it was just complete and utter chaos. I put on a honey mask because my skin was so dry. Used some bubble bath and put too much in there and then commenced to put more. Some Epsom salt in the bath too to soothe me and I don't know how much to put in there so I just put a lot. I got my entertainment and relaxation set up and I was golden, dude. I was like amazing just watching more YouTube videos and chilling out. Changed into the moo moo because that's where I feel most at tune with the motherland. Put on my avocado mask and went to bed, baby. I was done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this day with me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.